are officially on the road to WrestleMania. And we're going this year. Um, no, we're not. Fixing this because I want to see my shirt. Keep talking. I don't care. Yeah. We need to see that Macho Madness. Yes. Because we just watched the Macho Royal Madness. Rumble. I watched it for the second time. These guys watched it for the first time. 18th time. Oh, wow. That was a lot of times. Not even enough time to watch it that many times. Yeah, times. It has to you don't know how many TVs I have. That's uh, true. Okay. Yeah, still counts. There's one. Um, no, because I also have 18 PlayStations. Give me one. No. You, you have don't. one already. Give me a... Do you have a PlayStation 4? Extra one? No. Damn it. I have a PlayStation 4 and then a lot of PlayStation 2s. <laughs> ah, makes sense. But yeah, we just watched the Royal Rumble. Um, we're going to go over what happened. We are uh, indeed. Starting with the pre-show match, that was the Ascension versus the Dudley Boys versus Damian Sandow and Darren Young versus Jack Swagger and Mark Henry, who would be the eventual winners because uh, it sucks if Jack Swagger has you in the Patriot Lock and Mark Henry just decides for fun to squish you. Yeah. It sucks so much that when he splashed Bubba, he's like, I better pin Victor instead. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing, is that Victor was the legal man. True. Yeah, and... Bubba was, like, hanging halfway out of the ring. Well, and I, like, I feel like that move wasn't even supposed to happen. I think that was Swagger going, hey, I've got Bubba pin Victor. And Henry yeah. went, I'm going to splash Bubba anyway. Yeah. Because he got mad at me when I did my little hip swivel thing. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. just a revenge act. But uh, the keynote of this match is how fucking over Sandow was. No shit. The crowd wants more of that Sandow. Too so, bad he doesn't connect. Yeah. WWE, get with the friggin' program. People like that Damien Sandow fella. And if you don't want him to wrestle, just make him the GM like I've been saying. Yeah. There you go. I'm so rootin' to Lily. So yeah, so we officially have Jack Swagger and Mark Henry in the Royal Rumble. Absolutely. Yeah. I hope uh, they do well. Our main card. Main card starting off with probably we, the most insane match of the night. We opened yeah. up Fast the last and furious man with this. Holy shit. Ambrose versus Owens. Yeah. The IC title. This match was scary. There was a lot of stuff going on. There was a lot of chairs. But a kendo stick, attempted murder. One con one thing I noticed that I wanted to bring up, and I want to take it back to uh, one of my comments on the chairs match at Extreme Rules. A good way to judge hardcore matches is would it still be good without the weapons? And this one, absolutely, it was. Yeah, no, and like they, sure, they had a lot of great weapon spots. Yeah, but just the fact that you have Owens and Ambrose who can brawl with the stuff that they did, just against the stairs yeah. or, uh, you know, j just all, the, yeah, all the little stuff. Yeah, it would have been still a fantastic match. Yeah, but then you add the violence and and. The creativity of these two. Yeah, it, it's a place where Owens and Ambrose excel. Ambrose coming with his uh, deathmatch experience, wrestling in places like Combat Zone Wrestling. Uh, Kevin Steen, Kevin Owens uh, coming in from, you know, Guerrilla Warfare matches in PWG. Oh, yeah. yeah. Him versus Super Dragon, him versus Adam Cole. Uh, Fight Without Honor matches uh, against Nakamura. Uh, the latter warfare against El Generico. So. A lot of innovativeness and history with Owens coming into this made them up for a like fantastic pairing against each other. We had like a, the cannonball through the barricade. Yeah, that was, yeah right off the bat too. Yeah, after uh, they just opened straight with that fist fight yeah, too. They were ready to tear each other apart as soon as the bell rang. Yeah, and it, it, that's one of the things I love is it made it a it was a believable feud. Yeah. You know, yeah. they do that stuff like to the point where these guys are getting tired. Dean Ambrose is setting a table up in the ring, <laughs> and Kevin like, Owens doesn't have the energy to do anything but to shout, "I hate you!" And then Dean Ambrose in the middle just, "Well, I hate you." Yeah, finish setting uh, up my table. Ambrose gets the fisherman buster off of the second rope through the table. <laughs> uh, Owens through gets an elbow drop table. through his chest table, and that's not even the worst of it. <laughs> yeah, no. uh... He's setting up to what I'm assuming is to moonsault Dean Ambrose. Yeah, he's got was on a bed of chairs. Yeah, the four chairs yeah. and then another chair set on top. 
Yeah, uh, so it's like Which, a little chair hammock. It would have been fucking awful had that happened. Yeah. Looks like he's set up for a moonsault. Ambrose. Well, runs. they would have landed in like 69 position. That would have been. Yeah. Had that might have been the most connected. It gives, it gives Owens a very small uh, room for error. Yeah. Owens can do it before it becomes hit the top of those chairs and fucking kill yourself. <laughs> um, Break a rib. Or headbutt each other All in the dick. the brims. <laughs> um, Shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Owens is going up, facing opposite Dean Ambrose. Ambrose hops up really quick, spanks Owen really hard. He goes over the post, crashes through two tables. Ooh, and I screamed like a girl. He did. He did. Which was funny. set up earlier. Uh, and that is what... I didn't know I was going to scream like a girl. And that's what uh, ended up keeping Kevin Owens from answering the ten count of the referee. I, because I'm pretty sure his legs were stuck around the table and he couldn't get up. Well, I, I'm just going to be honest. I don't give a fuck who you are. If you go somersaulting through two tables, you better stay down for ten seconds. At I, least. I was hoping he'd get up because I, I, I didn't want this match to end. Yeah, no, it was I a fantastic didn't. way. Ten, to... the match is over. Let's move on. All right. We had the Tag Team Championship match. <laughs> yeah, we had... Uh... The WWE. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, the New Day is always a highlight. And always. we have Francesca 2. I've, I've seen got some people <laughs> who don't like the New Day... Wait, what? And those people are wrong. Wait, what? What? Yeah. People who don't like... The... Yeah, there's some people who don't like the New Day. I I can't understand what that means. Like, Can I compute? Can there, I compute? There's some people who confuse the it's New Day with Dallas. Sheamus. If, if, that, if that puts it in... Oh, God. If that helps you guys picture it. Wait. They think, they think the New Day is white? Yeah. Uh, well, that would make them way worse. Um, like, that's not even colorblind. That's yeah. just stupid. Them versus the Usos for the Tag Championships. Good match. And the yeah. Usos could not get over No, uh, well, and they did a great job of taking that and being like, all right, we'll play heel. Yeah. Even though the New Day were still trying to play heel, uh, the crowd trying to get Xavier Woods to play Francesca. He's like, and I he, only play when I want. Well, and he, he, like, he, like, started to set up, and everyone's like, yeah, and then he dropped it, and they're like, ooh. Uh... uh Xavier Woods dropping Mortal Kombat movie lines. All, uh, all day long. <laughs> tricep meet happened. Yeah. Uh, Big E doing the spear through the ropes on the Jimmy of the Uso. Yeah, that was... That's a, always an intense spot. Yeah. Um, it's not something... Uh, that and his, like, his apron splasher. Like, if there's... Kofi had the best super kick counter of all time. Yeah, yeah, he just does tying up the leg, cake, spin kick, leg trap. Yeah, that was fantastic. And, and then, then, then he slapped the shit, and like, that led to Big E. That led to Big E splashing him in the back. Yeah, I think he kind of stole that from. Yeah, Swagger what's with all Henry. these rude ass back splashes? You know, when when big fat black guys come running through, <laughs> they just want to splash backs, bro. By the way, rude ass back, rude ass back splashes is my new band name. <laughs> What's worse, getting a rude ass backsplash or getting a rude back ass splash? Uh, the first one hurts more, but the second one's grosser. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the New Day would pick up the win when, uh, I think it was Jey Uso? Yeah, it was Jey. Going for a super fly splash. Uh, Kofi blind tag, or Big E blind tag Kofi. So when Kofi's down, yeah, Co ready. Kofi's doing his 10 punch. And when Jay goes for a power bomb, he's able to tag uh, Big E back in. So Kofi gets the power bomb. Jay goes up for the superfly splash, but instead of catching Kofi, he lands on Big E's yeah, shoulder. Big E slides in, catches him, hits the big ending. This is a fantastic yeah, timing. Yeah, just great timing. You know, a great show of strength. The one by thing Big that E would have made the spot a little bit better. And other than Cole. Saying some weird fucking shit. Cole didn't know what he was the doing. He got a face full of pretty bones. great tonight. They sold everything yeah. well. I one gripe, and I can only gripe on commentary when they do really well, is they talked about how Kofi got the blind tag. I wish they didn't talk about it until mm -hmm. after Biggie got back in. Yeah, to yeah, make it make us think about it. Yeah. Yeah. 
I can agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. How good, about good win for the New Day? That USA Championship. USA champion? Yeah, the USA championship being fought over... You mean champion of the United States. Champion of the United States oh, being fought over oh, by two Mexican-Americans. Um, Alberto Mexican Del Rio defending against Kalisto. Um, it, was gr it was a great match to a point. Yeah. And then it was still good considering what had happened. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, fantastic. I want to say... That right off the bat, within like the first two minutes, and Kalisto does that diving torpedo headbutt to the outside. Yeah. Yes, that was rad. Yeah, no, Kalisto was on fire. Like he was, he was coming at this match like I want that championship. And then Del Rio's back. like, "What? You want to fly to the outside?" So, yeah, Del Rio yes, did the Rey Mysterio. Style. Del Rio was good at putting him out though because he could, over and over again. Yeah, Kalisto could not get much offense. No. He tried. Um, he tried his little twirly thing again. Every time he tries that, Del Rio's like, "Get down!" Yeah, no. There's, there's no. Flippy Kalisto doesn't do anything. Del Rio's like, "I was in Lucha Underground. <laughs> I, I know, I know how, all your tricks. I know how to deflect shit." Uh, Arrow yeah, taught me that. Then it all, <laughs> it all kind of goes downhill when Kalisto tries to go for a really fancy move where he tries to stand on Del Rio's back and hit the code red, but unfortunately, when he drops down. He, he gets his face on He, the mat. like, slips and just drives his head into the mat. What saved it is that, for some reason, Del Rio just fell backwards. Well, and Kalisto was able to get the crucifix pinned. What I think happened was, when he fell, Del Rio stood up to... Yeah, he, he was getting ready to, to take that jumping yeah. back bump. For... So he stood up, and then Kalisto was just able to roll him over and trip him up. Yeah, no, it was just... It was... Yeah. Kalisto came down on his dome piece. Yeah. yeah. And it was And it was gnarly. And from then on out he wasn't working at full capacity. No, but he did manage to pick up the victory. Yes. Yes he did. Uh Del Rio couldn't put Kalisto away, so he decides to yank the top turnbuckle off. That ends Big up mistake. backfiring because Kalisto runs him into the exposed turnbuckle, hits a second Selena Del Sol. And gets a three count. Yeah, that's... So within, like, a, a, two weeks' time? Two weeks, he's a two-time U.S. champion. Yeah. That's, like, one of those inverse flaws of wrestling, though, is if you remove the turnbuckle padding, you're going into it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, especially if it's during the match. Like, if, yeah. it's, if it's afterwards, you can use it all you want. Yeah. But you gotta be careful when you it, do it during the match, because The exception is, if it's a hardcore match, you can get away with it. Yeah. Right. Definitely. If it's against the rules, that's when it's going to backfire. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, we had another title match. Are we talking? We had all the title, title matches. matches. Every yep. match is a title match of the Royal Rumble, baby. Night Even of, the title's not on the line. It was the Rumble of Champions. Yeah, it was the Night of Rumbly Champions. <laughs> the Night uh, of the Champions. Champions of Wait, that was something else. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, that's what yeah, I was hungry. We, we had the Divas Championship on the line. Charlotte with her father, Rick McFlairson. Defending against I think that's Becky name. Lynch, Rick McFlairson. That is absolutely his name. And thank you to Becky and Charlotte for reminding us why we loved the Divas Revolution down on NXT. Because these two came to fucking play. They actually came to wrestle. Oh. Or play like they're wrestling. But they did a good job. Uh, no, this was, as far as fundamentally wrestling goes, the best match out of the four... Yeah, pre-Rumble matches. Yeah, as far as just straight wrestling is concerned, it uh, was also not a lot of fancy high spots or anything no. of that nature. But it didn't need it. It was also the match where we got the strangest interference from Ric Flair. Yeah, yeah, this is probably the high spot of the match, and at least the high spot for the last three years of Ric Flair's life. It was. It was the first time he didn't need Viagra. Oh. Wow. Um, so, Becky tosses Charlotte to the outside. She goes, uh, attempts to uh, pick her up. We had the same thing that happened a, one of the last On times they fought, uh, where Flair got in the way, and Charlotte came in to do the big boot. Uh, Becky Lynch knew what was happening, so she was able to get out of the way of the big boot. Uh, Flair still decides he's going to get in the middle, uh, but this time he's going to grab Becky Lynch and kiss her. He straight up made out 
with Becky Lynch. Oh. Yep. And Becky's like, ah, uh, no, 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 weird. And then Charlotte got the advantage out of that. Cause yeah, Becky's, yeah. Becky's messed up at this point. Well, there's there's some sort of weird poison on Ric Flair's lips. Yeah. It's like uh, chloroform and formaldehyde and the stuff they use to embalm people. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, Flair is a mummy. Um, <laughs> the the advantage didn't last too long, though, because... No. Uh, after another comeback, Becky was able to lock in the disarmer. Yeah. Well, she, yeah, she had, she had the arm bar first. Yeah. That'll... And then Charlotte tried to go for a power bomb, which turned into a triangle. And then tried to pin her. And then she's like, no. And then it ended up being a power bomb. But yeah, so then Becky's able to get the, the disarmer on. But this was after she got Charlotte to inadvertently drop kick Ric Flair. And Flair goes, the just happened. And this so, is where it gets weird. So, <laughs> take it. So Flair decides to oh, take his jacket it. off and throw it at Becky. Just and, he doesn't even throw it. No, he just he, drops it on her face. <laughs> and, I don't know, apparently... What are you doing? I, like, I, I was trying to find something to throw on you to demonstrate. No. I don't know what Becky's problem is with jackets, but she gets a jacket thrown over her. And then all of a sudden she can't see, and so she can't hold the submission anymore until Fox she gets the jacket off. But then instead of going right back into the hold, which she could have easily done, she got up in Ric Flair's face. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and so Charlotte <laughs> is able to get up at this point, and... The ref's uh, distracted with Ric Flair. She pokes Becky in the eye, and as Becky stumbles away, comes back, she gets hit with a spear, and Charlotte picks up the win and retains the Divas Championship. Yeah. We also get a post-match beatdown where Charlotte... I thought for a second they were going to reverse the decision because Charlotte was just going to town on Becky. Then she stops. Her and Rick are cool. You know, celebrating. And then Sasha Banks yeah. makes her Love way us. out to ringside. And she ends like, oh, this is going to be funny because she's going to get in Charlotte's face. Yeah, and no. Then, and then she runs out. She kicks Becky out of the yeah, ring. Yeah, and then her and Charlotte, like, shake hands or high five. Yeah, like, the, uh, they did the... Yeah, like, they're cool. And at this point, I'm worried. This is the... the, the BFFs. BFFs. Yeah, yeah at this XP. point, I'm worried because I'm like, we just had a fucking storyline of Charlotte turning on her best friend. And now you're going to, like, team these two up? Why? Yeah. So Char Charlotte holds the ropes for Rick. Rick, Rick gets out of the ring. She's about to go out of the ring. Sasha ends up hitting her with the bank statement, wrenches on her a few more times, and while Ric Flair is ranting and raving on the outside of the ropes, she holds up the Divas title. Woos in his face. Yeah. And shows that she has come. She is going to be the Divas Champion. I wonder what the Divas Championship match at Fastlane is going to be. Uh, probably Paige versus Nikki Becky. Bella. Oh, I can see. <laughs> Nikki Bella. Alright. I heard Becky Bella. I was like, that's... <laughs> Becky Bella. That's well, a long yeah. lost Bella sister. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, after... that's the sex change, Bella brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just thinking, after the beatdown that Becky got, she goes and be dyes her hair... And she becomes the third Bella Twain. Oh, gross. Oh, weird. I don't want that to happen That'd at all. That'd be strange. I like orange um, hair, Becky. But, with all that said, it's time for the Royal Rumble, but we have gone on long enough for this video. Have we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, well... I accidentally reset the clock before I could make it an official count, but it was at 24 when we started talking about the Divas match. Alright. Uh, so that means this is going to be a two-parter. Two so go ahead and click... To the next video in the playlist. Why just let it go? Because it will automatically start playing. Yeah, because uh, we're gonna be talking about the Royal Rumble. So why, like, why favorite, subscribe, uh, and yeah, click the links, we'll, comment. Yeah. Let's talk what about the Rumble. Your, what was your favorite yeah. match? We're gonna talk about ours. We already did, or some of ours. And here we go.